Thanks for downloading the In Our Time podcast. For more details about In Our Time and for our terms of use, please go to bbc.co.uk forward slash radio 4. I hope you enjoy the programme. Can we just stay with these theorems for a, a, for a few minutes longer, Marcus, you yes. say, Tori? Um, because, because they are very important and we're going to try to track their effect and their importance. Um, can you just talk a little bit more about how Gödel illustrated his theorems uh, and... Yes, and yes. So- I, I think it's I mean, really important to show to, yes, how absolutely. he proved these things because yes, yes. I think it's quite remarkable. Yeah. In a way, he takes one of these uh, sort of uh, linguistic paradoxes and encodes it inside number theory. Um, he takes the statement, this statement cannot be proved. And what he does is to produce something called the Gödel coding, which translate that sounds like a statement about language or um, a sort of meta statement. But he produces something called a Gödel coding, which actually uses my favourite numbers, the prime numbers, to change that into a statement about pure number theory. Now, so we've got this statement cannot be proved. Yes, it's right. now just a statement about numbers, m- meaning something about numbers using this Gödel coding. Now, this statement about numbers. How does that work, though? How, do, how does it work? Yeah. It, it, it works by translating... Gosh, that's, now you're really pushing me. Uh, it works by um, sort of translating... Every, um, every symbol inside, it, it, within that logical statement that I've said can be translated into uh, some sort of numerical value which has relationships between them according to their logical connections and so it can be translated into therefore a statement about numbers and not about the logic itself. So... Uh, I don't want to be pushed further on that one because no, we're no. going to go for. I don't want to go any further. Yeah, okay, we've okay, we got to. That will, the well, hands are go going for, up right around the table. Yeah, Let no, Marcus yeah. finish. Yeah, I'm going to finish this and then you can explain a little bit more about the, how the Gödel coding works. Um, uh, because this is now a statement about numbers and therefore is either true or false. Now let's look at the implications of this. If this statement is true, let's reinterpret it back. It says that this statement cannot be proved. Sorry, I want to do this false. If it's false, it says this statement cannot be proved. So that means it's false, which means it can be proved. But if something can be proved, it's true. So that's contradiction. So the assumption that the statement was false must be false, which means the statement must be true. We reinterpret that back to the statement about language. It says this statement cannot be proved. So that is now a true statement. And therefore, Gödel has proved that there are statements which cannot be proved. Thank you, Philip. <laughs> I'm calling in Philip. <laughs> and then John. 